Thanks so much. We'll see you back here in a couple of minutes. A man found dead along Garrison Road this afternoon in Greenville County. We brought you this motorcycle crash is breaking news at four, five and six. Uh, the coroner's office has been investigating it ever since they found this scene. The crash actually happened on Sunday, mm. but he was not found until about at 1 30 this afternoon there in the Pelzer area and only on Fox. A neighbor is reacting to that crash being found just feet from their home. And that's where we find Fox Carolina's Brooklyn Cromer live for us tonight. Brooklyn. Well, I actually talked to loved ones of the, the man who w was found here earlier. Uh, they didn't want to go on camera, but they told me off camera. One of those men says it was his uncle that he was looking for. He says he was searching this area here bef behind me whenever he found his remains and his motorcycle about 40 feet from the road in this bushy area. Really affected me and my wife and my family. Uh, you know, so close to your home and so right there in your yard almost. Ronnie Brock lives on Garrison Road. For the last few days, he says he noticed cars driving up and down the road and later found out they had been looking for a missing man. They had been searching. They were actually searching last night at 2 a.m. in the morning, riding back up and down Woodville Road. And today, a huge scene outside his house. Police, uh, highway patrolmen, uh, fire truck, couple of fire trucks, uh, EMS were parked down the street. According to the coroner, a man who had been missing since Sunday was found this afternoon. Troopers say he ran off the road on his motorcycle and struck a ditch. The motorcycle is actually found right here, maybe about 20 feet where the brush is at. The body was located about 20 yards on down. Highway Patrol tells us loved ones searching the area found his remains. Some of his family members had been riding up and down um, Garrison Road, and they seen something maybe looked like parts of the motorcycle. Ronnie says his heart goes out to the victim's family. We just want the family to know that we are praying for them and thinking about them. Now, the coroner has not identified the victim, but an autopsy is scheduled for tomorrow. We will, of course, update you just as we learn those details. Reporting live in Greenville County, Brooklyn Cromer, Fox Carolina, the 10 o'clock news.